New at 7, an employee of a Fresno ice cream shop is facing a felony charge of possession and distribution of child pornography. Fresno County Sheriff's deputies arrested 24-year-old Kyle Metters. And tonight we're learning about an Internet search that could eventually be used against him in court. CBS 47's Kara Rucker joins us live in studio to tell us why this may be the worst year on record for this kind of crime. Yeah, that's right, Catherine, and those details are horrific to listen to. Detectives went through Metters' Google search history. They told me what they found. Mr. Kyle Metters had actually Googled, um, like, how much prison time or how much jail time would I do for possessing child pornography? It shows that he knows that this is wrong. 24-year-old Kyle Metters has been arrested on a felony charge of possession and distribution of child pornography. A picture from the Sheriff's Department shows Metters' arrest Friday outside of the Ridgeview apartment complex. Sheriff Zanoni tells us about the shocking nature of the evidence in this case. They're violent, they're disturbing, and um, it's something that should never happen to young kids and even as young as toddlers in our community. Data shows crimes against children in Fresno County has significantly increased, according to the sheriff's office. We're still seeing an increase in those tips, probably up 50% from a, a couple years back. 2020 being the worst year on the books for child sex crimes in Fresno County. 2020 was probably our highest year for tips and for arrests. Sheriff Zanoni says there are two reasons for the massive increase, one being the amount of online usage being up in 2020 from parents working from home and children learning virtually. These individuals involved in this predatory behavior, they know this, so they're out there, they're online. The second reason being round-the-clock work by law enforcement. We've been very aggressive and it's been a priority. Matters bail was set at $20,000. Sheriff Zanoni tells us this is an active investigation, and they're currently looking at other possible charges, even at the federal level, which would raise the bail and keep Matters behind bars. I'm reporting live in the studio, Kara Rucker, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.